What's up everyone, it's Mr. M and I'm back today with another unboxing examination thing of the Metalhead box. Been another solid month, so let's roll right into it. First off, I usually show this last, but I'm going to show it first this time. James Murphy is the autograph this month. Played in legendary bands like Testament, Death, Obituary. I think he was in cancer at one point too. Not too sure about that. He also, has, over the last few years, has been doing production at Safe House Productions, his studio, produced loads of great bands. And he has fallen on some hard times in terms of his health. Um, he's facing multiple surgeries. He's got medicine to pay for. And given the medical system or whatever the fuck you want to call it here in the United States it is completely fucked so he his medical costs are rising rapidly and the metalhead box provided us all with its email which is right there and if you want to pause it you can if not I'll have it linked down below in the description of this video um, if you have a few dollars, obviously you're not obligated to, but if you have a few dollars, donate to this man. Um, he didn't ask for it, but given, uh, like I said, how fucked the health and medical system in the United States is, he could definitely use your help if you have it. Um, and like I said, email is going to be linked. Email is right here. It's also going to be linked down below in the description. Um, next up, and James Murphy, just like I said, he's been in legendary bands. So to have, even if he wasn't facing a dire time, having his autograph is just fucking sweet. And I'm so happy that I got it. Next up, let's move on to the CDs. First up is the first repeat that I've ever gotten since I got the medical, the metalhead box. Um, and I actually got this CD originally from the Metalhead box a few months ago. It's Nuclear Omnicide with their self-titled debut record. Put out on World War Now Records. If you like crossover stuff, definitely give this a listen. Definitely be right up your alley. Even some old school thrash stuff as well. Next up is a band called Wraith. With their... It's either their debut or their second record. Um, called Heed the Warning. This was also put out on World War Now Records. Sister label to Black Market Metal label, as everyone should know right now. These guys are kind of similar to Nuclear Omnicide. They play uh, thrash, crossover type stuff. These guys incorporate a blackened element into it as well. Um, and they also play speed metal too as opposed to Nuclear Omnicide, where they're just more of a straight-up thrash crossover band. Um, definitely give this one a listen if you're into thrash or black and thrash at all, or speed metal. Um, this is a very quick listen. goes by real quick. There's only eight songs, and it's just over the 20-minute mark. True speed metal record, pretty much. Next up is a band, I think it's called Triskel, or Triskele. This is a black metal band. I, some people are calling it pagan black metal. I don't know if it is or not because I don't listen to black metal very often. This was put out on Goat Spell Records. And I do enjoy this very much. One of the few black metal releases that I like. I don't know of any comparisons, but if you like black metal, give this a bit of a listen. Next up, we got a pin. Um, continuation of the Tribute Pin Series. This is Stormtroopers of Death, or SOD. Done again by Mark Rudolph. Uh, they started doing this a couple months ago. The first one was a set of three, Repulsion, Dissection, and Megadeth. Last month, they did King Diamond. And this month, they gave out three different ones. They gave out number three, which is Venom, number four, which is Autopsy, and number five, Stormtroopers of Death. Excellent crossover, arguably one of the first crossover bands 
Um, and they are fucking solid. They only put like three records out, but goddamn, this is a good band. Next up is the sort of quirky, odd thing out. Pillowcase. With the artwork of... I can't remember off the top of my head, but you got one of Sodom's records, and then Holy Diver by Dio, Eaten Back to Life by Cannibal Corpse, and a black metal band, which to me looks like Karak Omgren, but I don't think it would be, because the even though I can't think of the Sodom record off the top of my head right now, these are all legendary bands, and as good as some of Karak Angren's stuff is, I don't think they would be on this with such legends. And like I said, this is a pillowcase, or since we're in October, um, Halloween is right at the end of the month. You could use it as a trick-or-treat bag, or you could even hang it up like fabric poster if you'd want to. And then the final thing is the shirt. And I was pretty happy to get this one because this is one of the few death metal band, black metal bands that I am a real fan of. This is Drowning the Light. They are sort of like a melancholic black metal band. They're from Australia. On the bottom there, it says Curse Below the Waves. Some excellent artwork. Um, I don't think it would be considered DSBM, but it's definitely some more, at least in my opinion, darker black metal than a band like Triskel or some of the other black metal bands that I have listened to. But yeah, that's going to conclude this examination. Like I said, if you have a few extra dollars uh, and you want to donate to this absolute legend, em his email will be in the description. I don't know if I said it, but his PayPal only accepts goods and services. So you will not be charged any extra money for sending him a donation. So yeah, that'll be down in the description below. And thank you for watching. Thanks for the Metalhead Box for making such good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.